Don't you just hate it when nobody believes you're innocent? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 wrongfully accused movie characters. Townsend, you're making a serious mistake. This is not going to lead to a very happy conclusion, Mr. Kaplan. I'm not Kaplan. For this list, we look at those big screen characters that were blamed or framed for crimes they did not commit, regardless of whether they were convicted or not. And there might be a few spoilers ahead, so spoiler alert. All right, let me see it. Show it to me. Number 10, Lucas the Hunt. En af vores børn har fortalt nogle ting, som jeg bliver nødt til at tale med dig om. This seemingly quiet Danish film follows a recently divorced kindergarten teacher as he comes to terms with being falsely accused of sexual misconduct with one of his very young female students. Thanks to her overactive imagination and her older brother's taboo stash, she blurts out some things she can't take back, and all hell breaks loose. Did you touch that girl? Well. Mads Mikkelsen's amazing performance is remarkably reserved as he tries to clear his name in a town that's all too quick to label him a pedophile. <laughs> the role earned him the Best Actor Award at Cannes, while The Hunt itself was nominated at the Oscars for Best Foreign Language Film. Number 9. John Anderton, Minority Report. The commission of the crime itself is absolute metaphysics. The pre conks see the future and they're never wrong. This Steven Spielberg classic gives the wrongfully accused trope a sci fi twist by blaming Tom Cruise's character for something he will do. The neo-noir thriller is set in a future where psychic entities are able to see crimes take place before they actually happen, which allows the pre-crime police division to make preventative arrests. Mr. Marks, by mandate of the District of Columbia Pre-Crime Division, I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks and Donald Dubin that was take place today, April 22nd, at 0800 hours, 4 minutes. No, I didn't do anything. When police captain John Anderton learns he is the latest pre-crime suspect, he finds himself on the run, not only to try and clear his name, but also to find out why he would even attempt to murder someone in the first place. And the result is a thrilling and visually stunning ride. Number 8. Richard Hanne, The 39 Steps My name's Hanne, they're after me. I, I swear I'm innocent. You've got to help me. I've got to keep free for the next few days. Some people just don't know how to keep to themselves. Is your name Hanne? No. Are you coming in to tea, sir? I'll be right along. While helping what seems to be a damsel in distress, after witnessing what seemed to be an assassination, young Richard gets mixed up in a thrilling world of espionage, murder, manhunts, and double crosses. Okay, you're all wrong about this. You're only trying to help me. I to bring shame and disgrace upon my whole suit. helping me to escape from the police. The police is the police. They're after me for murder. What? They're here. This early Alfred Hitchcock masterpiece, an adaptation of the classic adventure novel of the same name, gave us one of the earliest and finest cinematic depictions of an innocent man rushing to clear his name, which was also a topic Hitchcock would reuse time and time again. I didn't do it. Of course you didn't. Number 7. Sirius Black, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. That is Sirius Black, that is. Every member of the wizarding world Harry inhabits believed that the eponymous prisoner was an insane and notorious mass murderer. Not only did Black lead you know who to the Potters that night, but he also killed one of their friends, Peter Pettigrew. But when Sirius Black escapes Azkaban, he makes it his duty to find Harry and warn him of bigger dangers, while also attempting to clear his name. I did my waiting! Twelve years of it! In Azkaban! 
an old friend of Harry's deceased father, Sirius was just trying to protect the Potter family when he took the fall for a number of murders. Gary Oldman's character masterfully goes through a complete 180, in Harry's eyes and the audience's, as he transforms from frightening killer to endearing guardian. But you're innocent. And you know it. And for now, that'll do. Number 6. Roger Thornhill, North by Northwest. My name is Thornhill. Roger Thornhill. There's never been anything else. Hitchcock once again takes a page out of his own book to create this thrilling manhunt across the U.S. Then why did you let the police chase me all over the map? In this tale of mistaken identity, Cary Grant's confused character is pursued from set piece to set piece and always seems to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. After a mysterious organization of spies is convinced he has an important piece of microfilm, they stop at nothing to get it from him, dead or alive. This creates some of the most memorable and breathtaking action sequences in cinema history. Number 5. Reuben Hurricane Carter, The Hurricane He put me in prison. Gonna bust me out. The only film on our list that's based on a true story, The Hurricane follows the life of former middleweight boxing champion Reuben Carter, who was wrongfully imprisoned after being charged with a triple homicide due to faulty eyewitness testimony. I didn't get a trial free from constitutional error and racial prejudice. He knows that, you know it. The movie focuses mostly on his time in prison, as a group of activists tries to reopen the case that was seemingly thrown away. While Carter fights for his innocence from the inside by writing his autobiography and tackling racial prejudice. Writing is a weapon and is more powerful than a fist can ever be. Denzel Washington's heartbreaking performance earned him a Golden Globe Award and his fourth Oscar nomination. Mr. Carter, now that you're out, are you still going to be the Hurricane? Well, I'll always be the Hurricane. And the Hurricane is. Beautiful. Number 4. Tom Robinson, To Kill a Mockingbird Tom, did you rape Mayella Ewell? I did not, sir. This courtroom drama finds lawyer with a heart of gold Atticus Finch taking on the impossible task of defending a poor black man accused of raping a white girl in the American Deep South in the 1930s. The defendant is not guilty. Although not the main character, Tom Robinson and his trial spark some deeply controversial issues of inequality and racial tension in the town, while Atticus's children, Scout and Jem, try to make sense of the hate and violence they witness through their innocent eyes. Both the film and the novel on which it was based continue to be considered some of the best ever made, and both raised several sensitive issues that are still touched upon today. I am confident that you gentlemen will review without passion the evidence that you have heard, come to a decision, and restore this man to his family. Number 3. Dr. Richard Kimball, The Fugitive I didn't kill my wife! I don't care! Based on the 60s TV series of the same name, this tightrope thriller sees Harrison Ford's character falsely accused of his wife's murder after he catches the killer in the act. I fought with this man. Uh -huh. Whatever. He had a mechanical arm. Narrowly escaping, when his police transport crashes, he's suddenly thrust into the role of a fugitive, with an unrelenting U.S. Marshal, played by Tommy Lee Jones, at his heels. Your fugitive's name is Dr. Richard Kimball. The resulting energy-packed manhunt allows him the chance to search for the one-armed man he witnessed attacking his wife. The surprise blockbuster hit spawned a sequel, a spoof, and an updated TV series in 2000. You can't find him dead someplace. He's running, folks. We got a fugitive. Number two, Andy Dufresne, The Shawshank Redemption. Since I am innocent of this crime, sir, I find it decidedly inconvenient that the gun was never found. 
Based on a Stephen King novella and directed by frequent King collaborator Frank Darabont, this critical favorite follows Tim Robbins as a banker who is sentenced to life in prison after being accused of killing his wife and her lover. Why'd you do it? I'm innocent, right? His pleas of innocence fall on deaf ears. You're gonna fit right in. Everybody in here is innocent, and you know that? After 19 years of wrongful imprisonment, alongside his friend and co-lifer Ellis Boyd Redding, and after struggling to stay safe within the corrupt prison system, we see Andy take matters into his own hands. I wonder if you might get me a rock hammer. A what? A rock hammer. And thanks to realistic acting, thought-provoking themes, and a captivating story, the Shawshank Redemption still has us hooked. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Just not all the way around our give a to me. You're innocent. Innocent. That's it. We're calling the cops. Go ahead. Call the cops. I come here to help him. What do you do? You turn me in. Sit the wall. Sit the wall. in prison for something I didn't do. I watched my father die in a British prison for something he didn't do. Number one, John Coffey, The Green Mile. Take my hand, boss. You see for yourself. Taking our top spot, we have once again a Frank Darabont Stephen King collaboration. Dead man walking! Dead man walking here! This time, it's a prison story about a gentle giant who sent to death row after he was accused of raping and murdering two young girls. I do not see God putting a, a gift like that in the hands of a man to kill a child. Tom Hanks plays one of the guards who starts suspecting not only that Coffee is innocent but also that he carries mysterious healing powers. Who wouldn't want to let this guy go? Do you have anything to say before sentence is carried out? I'm sorry for what I am. Michael Clark Duncan's breakthrough dramatic role in the fantasy drama earned him numerous critical accolades and awards, including Oscar and Golden Globe nods. Mostly I'm tired of people being ugly to each other. I'm tired of all the pain I feel and hear in the world every day. There's too much of it. It's like pieces of glass in my head. Do you agree with our list? Which characters do you think deserve a pardon? For more exciting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Wait, person!